Hello everyone, and welcome to part one of Hearts of Iron 4, where we're going to play as Venezuela. They're a fascist country, and we are going to slowly try and invade more and more countries in South America, and try and see if we can become the strongest South American country. Okay, so we start out with two technology slots. Uh, we're going to go for weapons one and basic uh, electronic mechanical engineering which will increase our research time we are a veteran uh, we're on veteran difficulty for uh, we're going to go industrial effort for our national focus and we are going to build some factories for the moment. We don't really have that much stuff to build at the beginning, which is unfortunate, but let's continue. We don't really have much of an army either. new commander and we'll move over here and do a front line here as we are going to try and build or recruit four units and set the location for Venezuela we just need the equipment at the moment. Which means we need to increase in this, but still. Should we buy the steel? Yes, we should. Trade, steel. Uh, we only have two factories or something, so that isn't that much. And I think they have four people overall. Or do they have... Yeah, probably have four. We have... <laughs> we have no... Um, no airplanes at all, either. How do we change back to a different map mode? There we go. We export a lot of oil. So how much do we have in terms of construction? 14. It won't let me change out of this map mode. There we go. Oh. No, no. No. There we go. Oh. What's the normal map mode? Nope. Guess that works. So we've got two army divisions right now. as we have no equipment at all let's see everyone pretty much hates us by a little bit because we're a different ideology how about the fascists no, the fascists are fine. El Salvador. Okay. Oh, default map mode, there we go.
Yeah, they seem to have more troops than us for the moment. But we are slowly going to improve our point. Yeah, we have 14 civilian factories and one military factory. We are slowly com uh, doing more development when it comes to factories. And after all of that, we're going to do more development on military factories. Steel. Are we getting actual supplies? Yeah, just a little though. If we just remove them, just allow the supplies gain here. Because we're getting three per week. I'd rather get more per day. We are increasing when it comes to produ uh, capacity though. So let's see what's happening in the world right now. What's Germany going to be doing for their first development? Uh, Rhineland. So they're going to be occupying the Rhineland. And for France? Metropolitan France. So adding infrastructure. Limited rearmament. Uh, increasing uh, civilian factories. What about Japan? Naval supremacy. So that's just increasing dockyards. United States, WPA. Uh, that, that is the. Uh, I think. Work Project Administration, I believe and it increases the political power is something that was part of the New Deal with uh, uh, Roosevelt who is all about all in this war so we've got political effort here which is increasing how much again we get uh, Remilitarization of Rhineland Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory close to the French border in in um, in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles, the local population cheered the German troops on, while the uh, diplomatic reactions from France and Britain has also um, so far been muted. It is uh, no more than Germans walking into their own backyard. A political commenter in Berlin, uh, in uh, Britain, observed. So that's worrying, and we have finished our industrial effort national focus. And we are going to be doing armament effort because we need military f factories. Yep. Because that's what we need right now. Yep. So right now we're just growing up Venezuela a little bit more, as they have reoccupied the uh, Rhineland, which is over here. How's um, the battle against... Ooh, what happened there? Sorry, the game... Ooh, there we go, the Spanish Civil War. A civil war has erupted in Spain. Several generals seeking to overthrow the current government in Madrid have issued a pronunciamento, and a large proportion of the Spanish armed forces has answered their call to arms. 
this right-wing nationalist faction has occupied much of Spain, including the overseas territories. Lawyers, fortress and volunteers have assembled under the left-wing Repub uh, Republican uh, government, determined to resist the pushed to their last breath. The battle for Spain has begun. So now we have got two types of Spain happening. We are not going to be sending any volunteers, I do not think. Could we? We could start sending volunteers, I believe. Yeah. We need to have at least 30 divisions. We have two divisions. Yep. Looks like we can't do anything there. We are increasing the amount of uh, basic infantry equipment we can have. As I'm going to be looking to join this faction. We are now with Germany fascism. We have now joined Germany's faction. So let's see what that has done diplomatically. Yep, we have increased amazingly them, as we are also going to ask for a non-aggression pact with these guys. And with Japan. Okay, they will not. We have increased tension by joining them, but still, we wanted to join them. Okay, we've nearly finished uh, electronic mechanical engineering, and we are going to look to uh, develop more and more technologies. Okay, so we have finished that and we are going to look to perhaps do more industry stuff. We want to increase our efficiency cap by 5. We are just looking to do uh, industry things at the moment because we really want to build up our industry in Venezuela to be able to go against Colombia. Oh, looks like time is up. I hope that you guys have enjoyed uh, this first part of our um, Venezuelan uh, campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. And I um, hope that you guys will enjoy us slowly de um, conquering more and more nations down here until we're strong enough to take Brazil, perhaps. Thank you, don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos and also check out the uh, Steam page for more tournaments uh, weekly on the Friday and uh, thank you and goodbye.